Hi, Jamie Davis here at NTI 2014. We're in the Monarch Medical Systems booth looking at the EndoTool glucose management system. Now, for those of you that watched my coverage of last year's NTI conference, you may remember that we actually talked to the folks at Monarch Medical about the EndoTool system, but they've got some new things going on, including FDA approval for some new updates. So I thought I'd talk to Lisa Murphy here in the booth. And Lisa, for those folks that don't know a little bit about uh, EndoTool and glucose management. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how EndoTool works? Okay, EndoTool is an insulin dosing software application that actually has the ability to trend and model each individual patient's response to the insulin that's been given. Very, very different than paper protocols that hospitals typically use or our competitors. So when a nurse uh, gets um, some of that information, it really takes very few data points for them to start building a profile using the software of their patient, and then they can better manage um, their patient and avoid things like hypoglycemia. Absolutely. EndoTool is always looking backward, and it looks at the four previous glucoses, how the patient's responded to the insulin that's been given before it determines what the next dose needs to be and when the next check needs to be redone. So as the patient's changing physiologically, EndoTool is potentially changing the actual mathematical curve they're being dosed from. Excellent. Now I know you got FDA approval recently for some upgrades to the system and some things that are really going to improve the way the system um, is utilized. Tell us a little bit about those new new items. We did. Some things that we're extremely excited about, again, that only EndoTool has. And one of them is called EndoX Therapy. And what this is, it actually has two prongs that allow us to help support the hospital's DKA and HNS protocols. And we know as we hear talking to our customers and prospects out there that DKA is a huge challenge to hospitals and what EndoX therapy does is really help support the nurse by giving messages to indicate when they need to change their fluids, switching the patient to an actual normal goal range once DKA or HNS has been resolved. Excellent. And when the nurses find these tools, are they, are they all part of one package or is it something that can be itemized and built from uh, a kind of an a la carte kind of menu? No, everything comes together and, and as with the EndoX therapy, um, Certain agencies out there have really suggested that you need to do separate things for patients that need, that are on ultra high goal ranges. So this is something that, again, we bring, we bring to the table and um, EndoTool comes as a package uh, and it's very customizable. That You allow to set different goal ranges in different units, you have multiple goal ranges in one unit if you have a mixed ICU, for instance. So it really is, we give you a tool to practice, but we don't tell you how to practice. Excellent. So that's all here at the Monarch Medical Systems booth at NTI 2014. We'll actually have links to where they can find out more about EndoTool in the show notes, but where can folks find out about it if they want to look at it now? May I share a few other um, things that we have? Oh, absolutely. Please do. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, Lisa. Believe me, uh, you know, it's all about what our nurses can do to improve their patient care. Exactly. So another thing that we have been uh, cleared for is called estimated residual extracellular insulin. And this really is very important. And it has really two phases. One is looking at what insulin might be circulating in that patient when they come into the hospital and are admitted on EndoTool. And the other is looking at what insulin may still be circulating in that patient while they're being dosed on EndoTool. So that's extremely important. And again, this is something that is unique to EndoTool. Um, we have a new browser-based solution, which is a uh, private internet cloud, so there is no possibility of breach of PHI, which of course is extremely important to hospitals. Um, we have a great new graphic interface, which has been designed with the nurse's eye in mind to be very easy on the eye. Again, something we're very excited about. We now have clearance two years and 12 kilos and above. So these are all things that we believe really make EndoTool unique and, and really bring lots of value to the nursing staff, but in addition to the nursing staff, the patients, and that's what we're all here about is better patient outcomes. So it's not just about your typical adult ICU patient, but you can care for pediatric patients down to the age of two. Age of two and 12 kilos and above, yes. Excellent. Well, is there anything else we need to cover? I think that, that pretty much covers it right now, but thank you very much for your time. It was nice talking with you. It's great talking with you too, Lisa, and I want to thank all of you for checking out the show here. Remember, you can find more segments from NTI 2014 over at nursingshow.com, and really look up EndoTool and find out if it's the perfect solution for you to better manage the glucose levels in your patients.
All of the things that we're shooting here at NTI 2014 with the Critical Care Nurses Conference is brought to you through the generous support and sponsorship of Physio Control. You know, I couldn't do it without them. And you need to understand that there's a lot of things that you could be doing to improve your CPR, improve your resuscitation rates using their tools, whether it be the Lucas, whether it be CodeStat or LifeNet software, or even things like their LifePack 20. Whatever the case may be, I want you to check it out. Head over to physio control control.com and check out all of the amazing tools to improve CPR for your facility and your own practice.